With the floor, it's a simple object with thickness of 20 centimeters. The walls can be made in so many ways. This is one way where we create multiple boxes and attach them later. And now we're just like, I'm simply snapping on vertices every time I create a wall. One other way to do this is selecting this spline and just detach it and give it an extrude modifier to this guy. Let's do that. Looking good. If we try to assign extrude modifier to the whole floor plan, we may get some problems and these can be fixed when we close the spline. Let me show you what I mean. So now we have two vertices here. It means our spline is open and when we extrude, we will see these problems. To fix this, usually you can select everything and weld. Before it's 11 vertices and after we weld it, it's 10. And now if we extrude again, we will have our object fixed. So let's fix this guy. If I make a copy of it, we don't need this closet. Here we have multiple vertices. So we have five, we're supposed to have four. Here we have two vertices, we're supposed to have one. Well, this guy, it won't because maybe we have multiple edges. And that's right, we have two segments here. The best way to do this, to delete the segment and then just this. Now, if we try to extrude, it should look perfect. And that's exactly what it is. I want to explain something for to bake uh, the lights in Unreal. It's highly recommended that we separate walls into multiple pieces. So it's not good to have all of our walls one object like this because we will have a super bad lighting quality when we bake the light in Unreal. It's always recommended that we detach our objects into smaller chunks. So now let's just detach this guy here, do the same on this guy. So this guy is open, if we give it extrude modifier again, it will be, it will look bad. To fix it, we need to connect these two vertices. Now our spline is closed, when we click extrude, it looks right. It's really important to keep all our layers organized. It would make it so much easier to work on your projects, especially if you have large scale project. Let me unhide the walls layer. After making the walls, I made the floors and the ceiling, the large objects, the doors and the windows. Then I added some smaller details like the skateboards, like these guys, they make all the difference. Here we have the kitchen, it's basically just boxes and here we have our table set just like our reference image if you remember. Let's show it and finally we have our spotlights and all looks good. Let's unhide this part and now we need to export this to Unreal Engine. If you're using 3ds max go to file export set a location usually i have temp folder for my data math exports give it a name and save file as data math click save visible objects or selection if you have an animation you can select active time segment click ok now it's exporting you can get some error messages like this the, this means that there are some objects without UVs, but that's fine because Unreal Engine will take care of these for us. And I will show you how we can take care of them. Now let's import everything in Unreal Engine. 